You're watching Adorama TV. Hi everybody, welcome to Adorama TV. I'm Mark Wallace. Well, this week we're going to be talking about cable releases or actually remote controllers for cameras. We're going to be talking about an awesome remote controller for the Nikon, one for the Canon, and then also a, uh, another brand here. This is a remote controller that's actually a uh, radio trigger, so it actually triggers your camera with a radio, so no wires uh, required at all. So let's first start with these two guys. These are essentially the same controller. This is for Canon, this is for Nikon, and they do basically the same exact thing, except for this is for Canon and this is for Nikon. So let's start over here with the Nikon uh, can, uh, remote control here. Um, this guy is the Nikon MC36, and it's for about 125 bucks is what this goes for. Now at its core, both of these have a button on them, and when you push that, it will make the cameras uh, trigger. And if you want to have a long exposure, if you're shooting stars at night, want to shoot something for maybe an hour or something, but you're not sure how long you want to do that, you can just push and uh, push this forward, and it actually locks it in. The same with the uh, Nikon version. And uh, on the Nikon version, it actually beeps and tells you something is happening on the Canon version. It doesn't, so you get a, a nice little audio signal with an icon. Well, a lot of the other f uh, functionality of these are the same, so I'm gonna walk you through these on the Nikon here. Now, what this does is it has uh, four different modes. There's delay, there's long, there's interval, there's a little thing that says in, or how many frames uh, you want to shoot, that's what that is. And then this has one thing that the uh, Canon doesn't have, and that's this little uh, note on there, and that allows you to turn the beep on or off. So to work this, what you can do here is you can go in and uh, just by moving this back and forth, you can change the mode, either from the delay or long or interval, etc. And the nice thing is with uh, both of these, you can mix these different modes. So you can uh, program the intervals and the delay and how many frames, and you can mix those and have them all working at the same time to get some really interesting effects. And so uh, let's go through what each of those are. So the delay on this, what that allows you to do is once you hook this up to your camera and you push this button, it actually counts down. So you can say instead of counting down 10 seconds or two seconds, maybe you want to count down an hour or two hours or 10 hours. Well, that will allow you to do that. It's really, really nice. Now the uh, long, what that will allow you to do is um, if this is in bulb mode, your camera's in bulb mode, you can actually push this and say, I want your, uh, the shutter to stay open for a certain duration of time, like an hour or two hours or 10 hours, something like that. If you have these plugged in and the battery's not dead, it'll do that. And so that way you can extend the bulb functionality of your camera and instead of having to hold that with your finger, you can actually just put this on and it will time down a precise amount of time, which is really nice. And then interval, um, what that will allow you to do is take multiple shots at different intervals. So you might say take a shot every second or every five minutes or every hour. So this is great for time lapse photography. And then the in, in other words, how many frames, you can say I want you to take um, 10 shots once every hour, and so you would have 10 shots over 10 hours. Or you can say, I want you to take 99 of those, or you can say, just keep going until you know the battery dies on the camera, so it can just go forever. And then on this, you can also turn off the uh, sound so it doesn't beep on you. Um, the other thing this has is the start and stop, so once you have this all programmed, you push that and it starts the sequence, however you have that set up, and you can stop that. And then this has a little light, which is really nice, because a lot of times when you're shooting with a cable release like this, a remote control, you're shooting at night outside, and so you can turn that light on or off. And so the nice thing is the Canon has the exact same functionality as the Nikon, except the beep, it doesn't have the beep. Um, so it has all the same things. It just has a little bit different labels, but they are the same thing. So it's self uh, timer. In other words, it's a countdown to turn on intervals, how long you want the shot to last and then how many frames you want it to take. And then again, it's got the start and stop button. It's got a little mode here instead of uh, going back and forth with the little joystick there. It's got a mode to go back and forth. It's got a little dial on the side here to program that with. And then it also has a light. So they're essentially the same. And so they work for different brands. Now the cool thing is, I'm going to show you really quickly on this Nikon here. Um, it has the ability when you plug it in to, uh, it actually screws in. And so once I get this in here, um, yeah, I get this guy right in here. This actually will screw into this uh, Nikon. Um, this takes actually a little bit of, of uh, experiments. Okay, there it goes. 
And so once I have that, there's this little threaded thing here that will actually allow me to screw that onto the camera itself. And once it's screwed in, it is not going to come out of there. So you don't have to worry about this falling out. It's really going to be locked tight. And so once that's in there, it's great. Now the Canon is the same thing. It works a little bit differently. The Canon actually, once you uh, stick this in here, let me make sure I have it in the right way. And I don't, there we go. It just pops in like that. And uh, it's on there really nice and tight. In fact, I can hold my camera by that cable. I know, don't do this at home. Um, to get that off of there, I actually have to just pull this outside ring and that will pop it off. So it's really nice. So both of those lock on really nice and tight and they're gonna be sturdy. So you don't have to worry about jerking the cable and uh, pulling it out. It'll stay in there for a long, long time. So that's the Canon and Nikon version. Now there's another brand over here that I wanna to talk to you about really fast. Now this is the uh, Honol brand. Um, and this guy is called the Giga T Pro. And the cool thing is this is for a Canon camera. It works the same as these except for it's wireless and it has a little bit more functionality to it. So when I turn that on, I have to push this down for three seconds and my receiver will turn on. And once that turns on, I'm ready to start transmitting. And to turn this on, I just have to push the button and it wakes it up. Now the cool thing is I'll turn on my camera here and take off the lens so it will actually be able to work. I can push this halfway down, and that is the same as pushing this halfway down on my camera. So I can push that halfway down, and then push it all the way, and that will make that fire. So um, that's how this works. I forgot to put a card in my camera, so it's not taking a picture right now. But I have all the same functionality of a single shot, continuous shot. I can do um, uh, uh, bulb shooting. Um, also the countdown timer and then all the same functionality that these timers have that I showed you earlier this has as well except for that it is wireless and that's really nice. Now the other thing that's really nice about this is it comes with two different cables. It comes with the small one that works on the uh, like this uh, 60D here and some of the other Canon cameras so it's just this really really small mini plug um, but if you have like a 7D and you need a different kind of cable like this well, it comes attached. So this works for multiple uh, models of Canon camera, which is really nice. Now this guy here is about $100. Again, the Canon version is $145, and then the Nikon version is about $125. Bucks. Now, if you're doing any serious night photography or uh, shooting the stars or doing any kind of time-lapse work, these are invaluable, and they're something that I highly recommend. In fact, a lot of that stuff you can't do without that unless you have your uh, camera hooked up to a computer, which is really impractical and not really a good idea if it's uh, outside at night where there's some moisture and things like that. So I highly recommend uh, all of these based on the brand of camera that you have. And if you need to get away from your camera and work at a great distance, then this wireless transmitter is uh, the remote that I recommend for you. Well, thanks for joining me this week. Remember, if you have some products that you'd like me to take a look at, please send your suggestions to askmark at adorama.com. Thanks for being here. I'll see you again next week. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.